So now that I'm in Maya, I'm going to import my objects. Here they are. I'm going to add a plane. Okay, I'm going to pick these up. That way they're there. <clears throat> I'm going to add, assign a new material. And with that, I'm going to call these cubes. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my color map. So I'm going to click on that checker box, file. There we go. I'm going to turn on the textures, and there they are. They show up my color maps. <clears throat> so if I turn on light though, you won't see anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sky dome just so that I have something. I'm going to add a HDRI. I like this one. It's one of my favorites. It gives it the nicest kind of look to it. Okay. So here are my objects with my materials. Uh, all I have right now is the color. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a metal in this map because I do have a metallic object. So file. And as you can see, it didn't do anything. So what I have to do is I have to change this to a raw. And then I have to come down to color balance and turn on alpha is luminance. So this now looks metallic, this not so much. This looks more like a, as it should. Okay. All right, yeah, that looks, that looks better. Okay. So my metalness is working. So now what I need to do is I need to go over and I need to add a, I'm going to go into the hypershade menu because I'm tired of hopping around in here. I'm going to select this one, graph network, there we go. So now that I have that done, have this open, I'm going to import my roughness map. So your roughness map goes into your roughness slider. So you come over here, click on this checkbox, file. And now you're going to find your roughness texture So now, if I just leave it as is, it applies a uniform roughness to everything. So what I have to do is I have to come down here and change this to alpha is luminance. And my roughness maps should, yeah, they'll show up now. So I can see the roughness on my metal cube. I can play with the the uh, alpha offset. This should probably be set to one. Yeah, now that's starting to look a little better. So now what I'm going to do is if I 
open up Arnold and hit play. These materials should be appearing as they did in Substance Painter. they are. So they don't look quite right yet because I haven't applied the height map. So that's what I'm going to do next. Uh, I'm going to stop this render. I'm going to go back to my shader and I'm going to add a normal map. So I'm going to click left on this, go down to geometry. I'm going to click on bump mapping, file, now, I'm going to use a normal map, so I'm going to change this to tangent space normals. I'm going to go then click on this to go to the file, and I'm going to find my normal map. Desktop, cubes, textures, and norm. Open. So now if I throw, <clears throat> I have alpha is luminance checked, which is fine. I'm going to change this to raw. And now I'm going to check and see how it looks. Now everything looks appropriate in here. I'm going to, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another render. Oop, that's not it. There we go. So now my wood looks like wood. This painted texture looks appropriate now. It is painted metallic texture. And if I scroll out, my marble should look good as well. And yes, it does. So if you're ever running into issues with your normal maps, doing something like this. So if I go into uh, this, click on this, I bump that way the heck up. So if it, they just look way too strong, like this. So if I take this into the renderer, these maps just look a little too, too strong. Like the light's not playing off of it right. then you have to set this just this is more important with the uh, bump maps but you want to work around this area but for this because I did it properly I'm gonna hit it at one and that should work for these materials Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to get I'm going to get rid of my backdrop. It's taking too much time to render. So now if I hit play, this should render a little bit faster. Yeah, there we go. It's rendering nicely. So this is how you get the same effect in Maya as you do in Substance Painter. All right, so let me know if you wanna have any more tutorials, if you want any more uh, how-tos, just write in the comments. And uh, I'll see you next time.